John 15, 18 is relatively straightforward, but you do have an interesting decision as to whether proton is an adjective or an adverb, and we have a textual variant that reflects that particular issue. A hakazmas humas mise ginosketa hati eme proton humon memiseken. If the world hates you all, and if we are true disciples of Jesus Christ, it will hate us, know that it has hated, right, the perfect of the verb, it has hated me. Let me get back to this proton, because protos can function either as an adjective or as an adverb. When it's in the neuter, this kind of the indication is probably thinking it, it's an adverb. And whatever you decide on this, you can come out with some of the same basic translation. But I wanted again to point out, on all textual variants, you can't talk about variants without talking about their significance. And some Greek manuscripts get rid of the humon. Now, why would they feel the need to do that? Well, if proton is an adjective, then humon is some kind of a genitive of comparison. It has hated me before you all. In other words, before it hated you all. But if you want to look at proton as an adverb, then probably you can see why they crossed out humon in some of the manuscripts. And the idea is that it hated me first, but certainly contextually that would mean it hated me first and then it hated you second. But either way, you come up with the same basic idea that it hated Jesus first and then it hates his disciples. But it does explain why you have a variant, because the scribes evidently viewed it as meaning first. In terms of phrasing, it's very straightforward. We indent the if clause. So if the world hated you, know that, and you could put the Hati clause under Gnoskete if you wanted to. I'm not sure you get a whole lot out of that, but know that it has hated me before you all. 